Right. Now this video, I'm not really sure how I'm going to do it, but I'll just try and sit and talk over everything that has gone on over the past week and pretty much what's been going on with our team uh, as a whole. So, as you know, you probably saw on Twitter last night that our whole team sat down and we had a lengthy discussion of what was going wrong, what we thought the issues were, and just kind of sort it all, really. Um, now, it did in the end lead to Dylan, um, slash my cat, putting himself up to be the guy to leave the team as he thought it was mainly down to him and he was the big issue within the team and why we weren't playing well and why there was so many things going wrong. So he was pretty adamant that it was him and the only re the only way it sort of could work is if he would be teaming with someone else or the circumstances were completely different. So then after long, long discussions, it ended up that we all sort of put ourselves forward as the reasons why things weren't working and maybe we had issues. And that really does show that there was something majorly wrong if all of us thought we could be the reason as to why things weren't working. And then, as I said, it then led to Madcap putting himself forward and all of us sort of agreeing, but reluctantly, that, okay, we'll try and do this, we'll see what else we can happen, we'll see if Dylan can get himself into a better team and progress, we'll see if we can get someone that might fit with us and see if we could then push on. But... The whole thing why I'd say it even led to someone being dropped slash leaving is purely because we were told that there was a roster lock for season 2 in champs and it was last night at 12. So basically it sort of made everything a little hectic and rushed and we thought something needed to happen otherwise we could all miss out on actually going to champs or we could even progress and push forward and turn this season around because after tonight, you literally can't change your roster. So that's sort of one of the other reasons why everything was like it was and how it ended up. But, yeah, then going from that, we then, you know, I think Dylan spoke to a few teams um, to see what he could do, um, if any swaps were available any teams and any players. And in the end, it didn't really, I mean, there were a few options we could have gone for, but nothing really felt like it would have been better than it would have been with Dylan anyway. So, after a whole night of sitting around trying to talk to people, trying to sort things out, trying to get everything working, it ended up that we sat down talking again as a four, Bill and myself, Swan and Jerd. And we wanted to sit down, talk for everything again and see if we really did go through every option possible. And one of the main issues that I think everyone will know this or would have thought or understood this, that sometimes... Dylan and Swanee, alongside each other AR in, isn't the sort of best, because in many ways they're sort of the same sort of player. It might not seem that way to most, but they seem to have the same ideas of where they want to be on the map and do the same things at different times. So, that was like one of the main issues, and then that filtered down through in, throughout the team, and sort of messed things up and just got everything a bit hectic at different times within games. So, sorry if this all does sound a bit muddled, by the way, I'm just trying to go through and just try and talk for everything without really editing anything, just do one whole talk, but basically, yeah, that, that was one of the sort of the main things, and yes, sometimes it worked and we would beat some of the best teams in the game, we'd look like one of the best teams in the game, but then to the next game we could just look absolutely average and nothing go our way, which is why we really wanted to get the consistency there because that's the only way you will be a great team and you will be good good opposition really so yeah as I say after sitting down and going through and talking for everything in the game we sort of tried to go through with the idea that someone else would take on the AR alongside Swan and that happened to be myself and Dylan would then take up the SMG and be with Jerd so by no means is it set in stone that this is how we'll play but this is what this gameplay is here it's Myself, AR in alongside uh, Callum and Dylan pushing around with a sub with Jerd. And yes, people will say, why are you taking one of the best ARs in the game off as his role? Um, but the simple answer to that is really, if it works better for the team and we play better, and we're more consistent in this way, then why wouldn't we do it? Yes, this player, Ian Dylan, might not end up with the whole everyone going around saying oh my god he's one of the best in the game which he is and he can be that with a sub 
but we will want to win and if this is what is going to help us win then this is what we're going to do really but like it's just a tough one because this could end up going back to being what it was and being back to square one really where we then just back to how the season has started and that's pretty poorly but I think we're all that dedicated and determined to turn it around and just push forward and try and get into the season two finals and then I think with that we pretty much guarantee ourselves the champs and, we, and then we have a lot of time to go through and try and sort all of the issues we have and that's the main aim really we want to we want to be how we were in season one um online and at LAN. so like on season one i think our record was 15 and 3 in the end um we played pretty well obviously we had a few rough losses to vitality and one to infuse um yeah but apart from that we were we were pretty good and that's just really what we want, what we want to get back to because none of us have been happy or comfortable playing as of late we've all just felt like really really down on ourselves I'd say we just haven't really I don't know it's a tough one I can't explain what it was like the atmosphere but it's just one of the worst that I felt or been in so yes the results may not turn around instantly and it all might seem quite stupid and silly to you guys with everything that's gone on in the past few days but there has been a reason for it and I'm just trying to get that across that I think this could be the best thing that happened that we had sort of this massive discussion and a, a few fallouts and back and forths because this could have just sort of reignited everything that we had at the beginning which is the main aim but yeah um, I'm not really sure what else to say I just wanted to try and get my my points across and everything that went on because it will seem quite confusing, go, confusing for you guys going back and forth but hopefully this gives you guys a better understanding um, if not, I may try and do another video with a bit more time to actually maybe further explain things with examples and stuff like that. But as I say, hopefully this has helped you guys understand it all. But yeah, as I say, um, thank you guys for watching. Um, now it's time to get back to playing and hopefully get into Season 2. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll see you soon.
down. Black Ops at work. It's a beautiful thing.